today for we are blessed with all blessings we have been reading and learning and studying in John chapter from John chapter 12 verse 27 while we read yesterday I want to read again the Bible says now my soul is troubled what shall I say father save me from this hour but for this purpose I came to this hour Jesus is declaring that all that he has lived for is now at hand he's he's gonna die that this hour of death this death that Jesus was about to die was the conclusion of his ministry but he's not only concluding his ministry brothers and sisters he's concluding Adam he's concluding the first world He's concluding the enmity between God and man. He's concluding sin. He's concluding death. He's concluding life that is a, a fallen life. He's going to establish something else, but first he has to conclude, has to bring to an end, has to finish, has to end what was already present. He had the ability to end the time to bring us into eternity he wanted to begin eternity by putting an end to what was existing and in time what he did goes beyond time and space yes he died and cruci was crucified in one place but what was happening was beyond that place what was happening was going far away from time and space it was eternally being uh, establishing what was to happen, what was supposed to be there from eternity past until eternity future. We are seeing Jesus Christ doing something that will never be forgotten. It was a beginning of something. It was a beginning of something. It was an end also of something. You know, the was the new the newness or new some something new is about to be born the old had to go has to go so this is what was happening Jesus is saying this is my purpose i've come to this hour it is a conclusion of my work and ministry it is also a conclusion of all the prophets and the prophecies verse 29 28 says father glorify your name then a voice came from heaven saying i have both glorified it and will glorify it again. Now I want you to understand when he says, Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven saying, I have built, both glorified it and will glorify it again. I want you to understand the kind of name he's talking about. He in this context is talking about the Father, the name Father. See, he's saying, then I, I repeat again, verse 28, Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven saying, I have both glorified it and will glorify it again. So basically he's saying that the glory, he's saying that the glory he has, uh, the glory he, he the, the glorification is talking about here and Jesus is praying for it he says father glorify your name in this word that father glorify your name in other words make your name known father let your name be known let everybody come to know you as father that is what he's talking about let everybody discover that you are the true father you are their father because of what was about to happen. Now, I want to connect these two things because Jesus had talked about glorification before uh, some few verses. He had talked about uh, glorification, all talked about uh, glory. So I want to connect these two verses because they are in the same chapter. And so it is in the same context. You understand that what Jesus is saying is not new. Rather, is uh, further explaining or expounding more on that idea of glorification remember in verse 23 he had said but jesus answered them saying the hour has come that the son of man should be glorified 
see the son of man should be glorified the hour has come and remember we had also read uh, something that has to do with our 27 verse verse now my soul is troubled and what shall i say father save me from this hour but for this purpose i come to this hour remember the hour has come so that son may be glorified it is also saying that for this purpose have i come to this hour so which hour is he talking about remember the hour of glorification was his death he had to die he had to die so he's talking about dying so that he may end into resurrection because in resurrection there's going to be glorification so glorification begins with uh with resurrection but the way towards there it is through death and we're talking about jesus christ what he was about to do to mend, to restore to change to bring about the solution that was needed uh, caused the jews you know that that the issue that caused the jews and the gentiles to be separated and all those stuff i'm um, talking about everything that was caused by adam the consequences from that fall were about to be concluded and this is the conclusion that jesus bring about to bring a conclusion of separation to bring a conclusion of of segregation so he wanted to bring something new something new while well, this will be as history of the past now we read verse 28 to connect it then he says father glorify your name then a voice came from heaven saying it i have both glorified it and we glorify it again so the idea here of glorifying which jesus is talking about is saying glorify your name meaning let everybody know that you are father let everybody know that you are father you know that many have not come to know God as their father. And this was the prayer of Jesus Christ because he was insinuating that be whether Jews or Gentiles, through the work of Jesus Christ, they were about to be brought into oneness. But that oneness will bring them further to become sons of God. And sons of God will be born in his resurrection and once they are sons then they should acknowledge god as their father so this is what jesus is talking about now my soul is troubled and what shall i say father you see father now he calls him he calls god father and this is what he wants us to know you see this we can read it or we can pass and noticing some important things which are written in a certain verse for instance in this verse we have father jesus says father save me from this hour but for this purpose i came to this hour father he again called father glorify your name so jesus knew god that his father as his father he had a relationship that he it was clearly uh, it was clear to him and it was it was um, what he wanted us to know that this very relationship he had with the father and that kind of relationship he had with the father we I mean talking calling God father you know he used that because of that union he he knew he had with him so he says now i pray that you glorify your name in other words let all these people come to know that you are father let them know you as father we should understand that the revelation jesus christ is putting forth here is for us to understand to grasp the idea of god being our father this can be spoken or it can be uh, misunderstood or even despised or thinking also that probably ah, you know it i've heard about it i'm talking about it is to be your personal revelation your personal revelation meaning let it let it come home let it let it come home in your heart it has to be home it has to go home in your heart you have to discover it by yourself that God is Father. 
Do you know that there are places where Jesus used to say that the one you call the God, your God, I call him Father. Do you know that this is a revolution once you discover that God is your Father? Has it come to be um, personal to you that God is your Father? We can say Heavenly Father or our Father in heaven in general, but I'm talking about is it personal to you? Have you realized, have you discovered that God is your Father? actual father he's real a father he's a, a true father and he wants to father you oh my 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 oh my 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 what are we imagine you discover that god wants to be your father he doesn't want to be your god just your god no he want to be more than that he want that deep relationship beyond friends or god or father you want to be your father. Have you come to understand? Have you come to realize that? This is the prayer of Jesus. He's saying, Father, glorify your name. Glorify your name. Let everybody know you as Father. This is his prayer. This is his desire. Because at the end of the day, if these people don't discover that you are their Father, the relationship that I was establishing, that I'm supposed to be establishing here, has, will not have succeeded it means i'm a failure if they don't discover that you are you are the father you are a father to them the same way god is the father to jesus it is the same way he's supposed to be your father jesus was revealing a new relationship a new relationship to us that is so much interested in seeing you and knowing that you are aware of his fatherhood towards you. Did you know that God is your father? Did you know that? Do you know that this changes your relationship with him, the way you address him, the way you think about him, the way you live, the way you think, the way you, comp your, 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 you behave, the way you live your life? Knowing that God is your father, think about it. The creator of the universe, the one who made the earth, the heavens, the stars, the moon, the sun, who caused the existence of all things we know, who created time, who created all things, both in the world realm that we know and in the realms that we don't know, saying that he wants to be your father. What a gift. Have you come to realize this? Can you accept him to be your father can you can you see this glory to god